Hello, welcome to Field of Glory 2 Medieval. So, I got a multiplayer game here going on. There's actually a few of us YouTubers doing this thing on Slytherin's website. And uh, it is me and Daz Tactic today. Uh, I've got a uh, the, the Hungarian army is me. And we got the Mongols are attempting to invade us across that stream there. With the, the Mongols over there is Daz Tactic, who is a strategy YouTuber. I'll put links below to him. Fantastic uh, YouTuber. He's been around forever. Lots of Dwarf Fortress stuff. And um, we're going to see if we can take down Daz today with our mighty army. So what I've mostly got here is my initial plan. I couldn't see his army when I played my guys out, when I laid my troops out. Uh, but i got archers over on this side who are a little bit exposed. Uh, I have my core knights and, uh, and sergeants over here on the left side with a general there. And actually, i got two generals on this side. Uh, and sort of the uh, the core of the army over here. My thoughts were, when I was starting this thing up, was we'd just sort of, like, hunker down here in the middle around our wagon, defend while the the knights came in from the side and flanked. Maybe the archers can flank if, or pick a few guys off on the side. Uh, now that I see this and pay more attention, we got this stream here. And it would be ideal if I could hit him before we got to the stream. I'm not sure it's going to happen. Some of these guys can move pretty far, though. So if we could, like, charge up... Actually, he can get to the stream, can't he? If we can, if he, we force him to stand on that stream and fight, that's good. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. These are archers. They're going to get slaughtered, but as long as we can hold them on that line right there, I think that's good. So let's let's focus about let's focus on doing that. We got a lot of horses over here. That was my general, my main general there. Uh, another horse archer there. We've got kind of a mismatch of folks hanging in here. Mostly we're going to try to keep our uh, our wagon protected. The spearmen as well are going to do the same thing. And basically keep that safe. Uh, can I move everyone up safely? Yeah, we'll just move everyone up here. Like that. And I think you, uh, you can't quite hit that guy. Actually, you can go ahead and take a shot. Sure, go ahead and turn and take a shot. There you go. We'll do a little damage here in the first round. Hold and firm. I, uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, and then we've got... Yeah, so as soon as they come up here, we're going to hit them. And try to keep them on that stream so we can fight. Uh, all my horses over here, we're going to just kind of charge through here this way. And basically get across that stream before um, before he does. And try to come in from the side. I'm not sure it's going to work. He's got quite a few folks over here. But we'll see. So anyway, uh, this is a uh, play-by-email thing. And so we're going to come in from turn to turn. Um, like a few turns a day kind of a thing. And so I'll just pop in each time and and we'll uh we'll see how the battle goes through round two here against daz and the mongols the the dazgals as we will refer to them as and uh it'll play his turn here and then we'll jump into ours he has crossed the stream here and and attacking my my archers who are a little uh, a little on their own out there we're gonna see if we can get them to fight on the stream i think it's a good idea this is rough ground right here which i was not paying any attention to before which is bad news for horses so, uh, I'm not sure my strategy is as sound as I was thinking originally. <laughs> um, this is open, like, right in here, so if we can hang on this edge there, it might be okay. But back here, any, it's going to be bad news. So, he's going to do the same thing. He's just going to hang around the other side. Actually, he's actually on that river there, on the stream. A bunch of archers coming in on his side. Uh, the main goal here, by the way, is to win this, you have to get routing at least 40% of his. Um, uh... And, uh, I guess, or, uh, doing, I guess it's 40% of, of his while not losing 25%. You can read it there. Uh, um, I can't lose more than 25% as well, uh, than him. And routing, or just routing 60% of their troops. I know that made no sense, but, uh, yo, yeah, yo, you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, let's go back, and I think we're, our, our job here is going to be going and hanging out. We don't want to go to the rough ground, that's for sure. Let's get them on up here. We can. I mean, we could cross this stream and attack. It sounds like a bad idea. These archers can go ahead and just shoot some things. Maybe I could back up and shoot with these guys. We have a range on these archers. Uh, that one. Um, so yeah, we could only really hit if we didn't move. But I'm not opposed to. Um, hmm. Like, well, go ahead, take a shot. I'll probably get taken down pretty quickly, but that's fine. Actually, probably not fine. Um, our goal is to not lose people. Um, but we'll go ahead and move you on up here and take your shots. Go ahead and turn and shoot. I'm going to let you come on up here. Archers, same thing. I'm going to move you on up. Take a shot as soon as you can next turn. 
Uh, do I want to stay on that stream? Yeah, it's fine. All right, and then the big the big army is going to be these guys over here. I'm going to try to see if I can get across the stream here with these guys as quickly as possible. This uh, this whole uh, forest and everything is kind of in the way. Can you get anywhere? Around this way. Let's see if we can sort of charge our way up there. Um, let's see. So I want you to come up. I didn't want you to stand there. You're an archer. Go up there and take a shot. Let's go ahead and just do some damage while we can. Well, that's a lot of damage. Okay, and then you. I don't want you on open ground. So I'm gonna have you hopefully go there. If he's, if we can get him back, we can replace him with this guy. We want this guy to be within range. He has, he does have a command range, which I'm not seeing it at the moment. Um, but he does have a command range. We want to be sort of within. The zone. We also don't want to lose this guy, so we'll keep him kind of back this way, and we'll sort of guard him with the spears on the not so rough, rough terrain. Which I'm not sure if the rough terrain is bad for my spearmen. Uh, it's bad for heavily armored folks, but I don't think these guys are too bad. All right, archers, um, you're about to get murdered pretty badly. However, you can do a lot of damage before you go down, so let's do that. That guy's got a general. Take out the commander. Put everything you got into that commander. Can you hit him also? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Disrupt disrupted the commander. Excellent. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, that's everybody right? Yeah, there we go. Now, round three. Daz is on the river. And... We'll see how this uh, how this plays out. The last battle we did, this is the second round of, of this battle, of this tournament. And the uh, the first round, it wasn't against Daz, it was against Steinvallen. Uh, we played a much more land battle-y kind of a thing. Where there uh, wasn't a lot of knights involved. This is going to be quite a bit different. I disrupted my knights there, but they are on... Is that open ground? It is open ground. Archers are just going to get slaughtered over here. Especially when they get surrounded. Going to get slaughtered. Um, I think I'm just going to let, let them out. They're, they're basically going to let, let loose the arrows and then they're going to die. But yeah, they're all going to dis disrupt it there. We're going on the river. Maybe this will work out. I don't know. We'll try to avoid the bad ground. We have rallied. Good, good, good. Um, let's go ahead and they kind of stopped me here. So let's see if we can get. I guess we'll just run up here. I'm just going to go ahead and get into a fight with... I think we're going to go ahead and hit... We'll just hit straight on that guy. Hmm. Uh, okay. And then we'll make sure we get across. Well, we can't quite get across. So let's go up there take out him. That's fine, actually. We can get him across there. We can get across as quick as we can. And see if we can make it over on this side so we can get, actually get a flank in there. Okay. Now, back over here. So, we got a bunch of them on this side. I think what we should do... I don't know if we should hit him here on the stream. Or just hit him to our side. We're going to hit him on the stream because that's all we can really do. So, let's see. Archers, just turn around and take a shot. There you go. I want you to come in and hit him here. Yeah, okay. And that guy? All right, what's all the... Uh, the uh, man, what horses I just like to evade. Okay. Let's just mow these guys down real quick. So archers are doing some damage. Um, you're a little, uh, a little broken up. I want you basically just to stick by this guy. So I'm gonna leave him here on the rough ground, and you're gonna go. Actually, yeah, go up, go up there, and you can march up to this side. We'll keep this side good. Uh, why don't you turn yourself and face that way? Okay. Now we got a bunch of messed up archers over here. I think what we're going to do, we're just going to start shooting. And just do as much damage as we can before we get completely taken down. There we go. We'll mess them up as much as we can. Maybe move the general out of there. I don't know. Um, is that everybody? I think it might be everyone for this turn. Uh, oh, yeah, you. Okay, so... We don't have a very good wind chance there. Or there. 
think we're in a decent spot, though. So I think what we're going to do is just sort of... Well, we're not really in a good spot. We've got him flanking on us here. Um, we could already hit the general and back him up a bit, I guess. We're going to lose this. Uh, we'll still hit him. And then you can just take a shot. There. And you can do the same thing. Okay. Some damage on these guys. And I think that's pretty much all we can really do there. Um, you can turn around and maybe get a shot on that guy. Uh, yeah, come stand over here. Just take a shot. There you go. Okay, that's everybody. There we go. We're on round four here, and uh, me from the future, actually, doing a voiceover now. So we did this thing a little differently uh, than I thought we were going to originally do this. We uh, played through, uh, I think we got through like six turns here, and then we go into uh, like a joined Discord call, where we sort of just play our turns together. So me and Daz will be together playing through the most of this game. A um, couple more turns of this me on my own doing, doing this sort of back and forth throughout the days, and we thought it'd be more fun, and that certainly was much more fun. Uh, just doing it together and kind of sharing our screens and, you know, just kind of playing for fun. So, anyway, that's what we'll get to here as soon as we get through these next three turns here. Uh, as my, my, my archers are, um, it's a little heinous what's happening over there. It's, um, it's a bad day to be an archer in the Hungarian army. Army. We'll, we'll leave it at that. But yeah, they all broke. In one turn, they all broke. So, <laughs> they got smashed. Um, they did not go the way I had planned it. Not that I planned it much anyway, but those guys got just got swarmed. I, I, I had never played um, a map with, with horsemen before. Uh, a battle with horsemen. This is pretty much an all-horsemen battle. And I've only ever done, uh, you know, footmen and archers and, and um, spearmen, that kind of a thing. Um, horsemen battles are much, much different than, than I was expecting. And I don't know why I shouldn't have expected it, because horsemen and archers don't go well together. I was hoping just to get some, some arrows off before, maybe maybe scatter some horses before they were able to get into me. Uh, it didn't work that way. My uh, my main plan also on this one was is to kind of try to push that left flank as best I can, and I just did some damage there. Pretty pretty, hef pretty heavy damage as we're crossing the river here on this left side. But that right side uh, is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty bad shape. And uh, we'll see if we can hold it. But another thing about, about horsemen is every time you attack with horsemen, they just run away. And so it's really hard to get in there and get... And, and it's it's very hard to, like, form any sort of formation or any sort of uh, compactness or, or, or uh, planning. I, being a, a, a noob at the game, it's really hard to plan any sort of, of strategy when your horses are just running all over the place. You kind of get to... Once I played a bit more of this, I kind of started to get, understand when the horses will run and when they won't run and they almost always run but you kind of you can kind of plan where they will end up as part of your move so we we'll a couple more turns of this we're just now getting into the fighting uh, already i'm down several points there i think it's my archers dying and uh I mean, the main goal here i tried to do, poorly tried to explain it before but um first person so first person hit 60 percent basically as long as the other guy isn't below 85 percent then 85 percent guy wins if 85% guy is below 85%, then it has to go all the way down to 40% uh, left of your army before it's uh, it's complete. And, you know, a big part of this game is um, you're not killing everybody, you just run them off. And <clears throat> so, ideally, what I did, this is a tournament, by the way, if I mention this, a tournament for Slytherin um, with me and a bunch of other YouTubers. There's like, I think there's eight of us in there. I played, first round was against Steinwallen. Um, sorry, I didn't record any of those. Um, I just did this one here with Daz. And that first battle with Steinwallen, you can, by the way, I'll put links below, and you, you can watch the Steinwallen and me fight England and France. I'll put links to his page to where you can watch that. Um, Steinwallen, by the way, is a German strategy YouTuber. <clears throat> um, and, um, but that fight was much, much different than this one. And it mostly has to do with horses. But, um, and also it was a lot more fun doing the thing where we're going to do here in a minute with the Discord thing uh, and doing it together for sure. Now, the big the big issue here is I'm trying to protect that wagon. Why did I buy the wagon? I don't know. Uh, it's by far the most expensive unit that I purchased. When you when you play this stuff out, um, I have a video on Field of Glory too. If you want to watch that, if you want an idea of like how the game works, then that's probably a better way of, of 
one to watch. Uh, but essentially, you have a pool of points. You spend those points on your units, and you can buy anything from expensive war wagons down to cheapo peasants. And uh, in my first fight that I did, I, I just bought a swarm of cheapo peasants, and I got annihilated. Um, it, was, it was reasonably close. Um, I won't tell you what uh, which one I won or lost or what happened there, but uh, it was a bit rough for the uh, for the peasants and again well against the giant knights that, that he sent in. So I, I tried this one to do just um, the most expensive units to see if I could withstand um, a bit better because not only do our knights stronger, but they are less likely to run away, which is what you're trying to avoid to rout. And um, that was my, my attempt to do something here. And that wagon is, is basically impenetrable. And it doesn't have an attack. It just has a defense. It's a very strong defense. And the benefit of it is it's supposed to help your fleeing troops. So if my guys that just routed there, there's a chance that they will rally and come back into the fight thanks to having that wagon there. If only. Um, so that's the idea anyway. Yeah, anyway, we broke something of, of Daz's up there. But someone has rallied there. Someone else is running away. Uh, those are my archers that are terrified. And I would be too if I was an archer in this army. <clears throat> Who put me in command? But um, uh, I, I seem to have a strong showing here on the left flank for this fight. The right flank is um, non-existent. And I'm hoping my spearmen can hang in there and, and maybe do something to those those horses. Makes sense. I, I don't know the I don't know this game well enough to know like which units are better for which. But I mean I know strategy games. I know warfare. Spearmen, horses. Yeah, these spearmen usually have a good chance. As long as the spears are, spears are long enough, I guess. So, for the most part, what I'm doing is... Uh, I got a few archers that are still left on this side. And the best thing I can do is just sort of weaken these guys as much as I can. And try to push this left side and get back. Um, there we go. Broke that guy. That got us back into... Well, back is almost close. Pretty close. So, it's not all, it's not all gone yet. Um, as long as this left flank can hang in there, I think I'll be alright. We got disrupted that guy. He's broken now, so another break over on that side as well. So we're not doing too bad. Hungarians are hanging in there. Um, I I believe the Hungarians have a bit of a disadvantage on this fight against the Mongol uh, the Mongols, just because you know it's the Mongols. Of course they have a disadvantage. And so um, see if we can hang in there and and uh, win this fight. We got one more turn after this, and then we'll go into the the. It's sort of like a um, combo. Game, Daz and I are together, we'll talk, we're talking and, and sort of playing our turns together. and um, Much more fun, at least for me, than, than doing it this way. Not really a big P play by email fan, uh, unless it's with friends or... Um, I don't know that I've ever... I've never really gotten into any sort of play by email games. <clears throat> and this one is... Uh, got invited by Slytherin to do this one with me and much other YouTubers. I thought it'd be fun, and we could try it out. Um, it, we're on round three, as I am voiceoving over this thing um, and and you essentially the way it works is we get points based on my spearman didn't do so well there um based on not, not only just winning the battle but how well you won the battle also gets you points so it's it's more about uh not just winning but humiliating the enemy is sort of your goal here and it's all based on how many which are points or are at the end of the fight so i guess I guess, ideally, it might be better just to, rather than beat them at the first 40%, um, like, smash them as hard as you can, get down to 85 and, or 84, and then smash them the rest of the way. I don't know. I don't know which is better. I mean, that technically is a better score. I, I believe that is better a better score to do it that way than than just smash them down to the, down to the 60%. I don't know, though. I don't know. Um, I wasn't really going for points. I'm just playing for fun. Uh, um, but we're about to end this turn here, and we'll go into turn six, where, um, and you can, as you can see with this, we're pretty well compact in here with this right at, at the moment, but um, these horsemen, it's really hard to um, to get any sort of organization, because, well, as soon as you start, as soon as you break one, they run off, you follow them off, off the battlefield, essentially, um, off the side, and you gotta turn these guys around, it's a real pain to get these guys cranked around here, like, those guys that are out running off, Chasing the routed guys. Hey, there's someone that rallied up there, which is not my, not me, the other guy. Um, but try to um, get these horses back around and back into the fight, rather than out here playing around on the, on the flank or in the outskirts there. And those guys just got smashed from behind and, and disrupted. 
Uh, we'll get Daz in here in uh, in a moment, and we'll, can, we'll we'll complete this game. That's what the most most of this is. Oh, there goes my um, my spearmen. They're breaking. They they are not holding up against the uh, the, the, the cavalry like I had hoped. Uh, but that war wagon, uh, I think basically if like if the war wagon falls, you've pretty much lost because that thing is nasty. It's strong. And so the chances of him getting in there and breaking that thing, I think are unlikely. Um, but it is all by itself over there now, so we'll see what happens to it um, as as the fight goes on. And um, Daz is a bit more knowledgeable about the game as well, so he'll, uh, he'll also enlighten me on a few things here also. You can watch this on uh, his channel as well. DazTactic.com, or Daz, what am I saying? YouTube.com slash DazTactic. Um, not familiar with Daz, strategy YouTuber, been around for a long time. I learned how to play Dwarf Fortress, thanks to Daz. He had a tutorial that he put out, like in, I don't know, um, forever ago. And uh, I think my um, I think my thing is stopped. There we go. Okay. I think we're good now. Um, <clears throat> had the weird pause there. Um, but yeah, so he, he's been on forever, and, and uh, I'll put links to his channel below and all that. But um, my, my archers, do we run away? No. We stand, and we fight, and we disrupt some um, filthy Mongols. Coming into my lands with your dang ponies and whatever else you got. And we'll, um, I'm really just with these archers. I know they've only got a couple turns left. I'm just going to see if I can put as much damage into Daz as I can before... Um, before my knights can get back. Those knights that I have, those ones that I'm pointing to, right? I was just pointing to, um, are quite strong. And they're pretty good units. So they're, they're kind of my only hope at the moment. These guys right, yeah, right, that are fighting, um, on the river here. And they will hopefully keep everything together for me. As, as again, we got uh, more evading horsemen there. <clears throat> um... And be running off. So, but I, I, I've, I seem to have, have handled the outskirts across the river. It's back on the other side of the river where things are looking a little bit more ugly. But we're seeing if we can hang into this thing. Uh, there was there were three battles all together. The, um, the first one was was France and England. It was the first two rounds, which I'm sorry I didn't record. Um, but I'll put Steinwallen's link below, and you can watch watch it on his channel. Uh, this is me and Daz. Mongols and, and Hungary, and then the um, the third round was um, Teutonic Knights and which I don't remember. We just started it. Um, it's Teutonic Knights is, is sort of a theme for that one, and it's um, all three of the all three of the the battles are quite different. They play out certainly quite a bit different than than each other, and getting the hang of these horsemen fights is um, took a bit of getting used to. I got these uh, these guys, and you, you, got, you know it takes a while to turn these guys. This is a board game, a tabletop game, by the way, and uh, it's been turned into PC here. So this, all these all these rules and all this stuff you can play on the tabletop. You know, turning takes this many action points, and um, standing on rough ground costs you this much, and and uh, open ground is this, but better for heavy units. Yeah, whatever. Um, and that's sort of how the uh, how the tabletop game plays. Options I've never played before, but this is how the PC version. Of it plays, which I think is pretty true to the tabletop game. Um, this game is, by the way, it's, it is on. Uh, it is released now. It came out a few days ago. Um, I have a link below to the Nexus site, a Nexus site, which is which I'm affiliated with, so it gets me um, a piece of the action if you want to purchase it from there. It's also on Steam and, uh, and I think it's on GOG as well. You can pick it up from there, also. But uh, we're gonna finish this up, and then I'm gonna take it over to our uh, our joined Discord thing, uh, and we'll let Daz sort of. And Daz and I take it away, and we'll, we'll um, go into that. Okay, welcome, guys. Uh, we're here with Nukrium. Welcome, Nukrium. Hey, Daz. How's it going? Yep, very, very well. Thank you. So uh, we're just actually chatting before that uh, it's been a while since we've actually been playing any of these games. So, uh, like, together, it's... Um, how long has it been? Like, it, you, you mentioned it was Wargroove that was the last one that we played, and that was, that was some time ago. Yeah, it's been at least a year ago. I don't know how long. Yeah. A... Hey, congratulations too on the uh, on the incredible uh, results you've been getting with your channel. I've been over a hundred thousand now. Thanks. Well, do well done. <laughs> <laughs> Just trucking along. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> Have you got the plaque? I did. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. How, how quickly does it take to get the plaque? Um, it took took a few weeks to finally get it in. 
but oh okay yes yeah. that's not bad yeah i mean it's it's it's, it's nice nice to get something from youtube to say something nice <laughs> from yeah. youtube <laughs> six years a bit, not a peep <laughs> but something <laughs> All right, well, we're just going to continue on with this game, actually. So, uh, like, I'll just load up my screen, and uh, then we'll just go from there, and um, and we'll be right. So I'll just move across the actual game itself. Um, here we go. So we've got this, uh, you know, we're continuing. I'll just play it, and we can just look at the uh, at your turn. Uh, That's the replay from your turn. Yep. This is um, fairly delicately poised the last time I saw it, anyway. This one's reasonably close. Yeah. I think the Mongols, I think they just have an advantage on this one. Yeah, it's sort of, it's a really hard one. I was really hoping that you weren't going to bring tre trebuchets because that, I, like, and um, because of the way I'd set my forces up. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. Whenever I set it up, um, I I didn't bring them because I played the Hungarian turn first. I was like, these guys are mostly horses. What's a trebuchet going to do to them? Oh, but, damn, um, yours have rallied. <laughs> yeah, we're hiding out there in the trees. Yeah, no, it's it's one of those things. I didn't bring them either until, um, and then I thought, oh, maybe I should have with the Mongols. But then I, I sort of thought that I wasn't going to be able to hold back uh, with what you actually had. Um, I've never played uh, them before. Your... In this, I don't know how the trebuchets. How the well, which one's story? The... I don't know how they work. I haven't messed with the trebuchets in this game before. So no, it's I, I, they can do massive damage from what I've seen, but um, I also I, I tend to avoid those sort of things. Oh, we've rallied back. Okay, so you've come in through here. So I had all of my little forces out this side, just trying to um, cause some issues. <laughs> yeah, that's where the remnants of my army are over on that side. Well, I thought, that's why I didn't want the trebuchets, because I thought that your army would end up here. Um, and so that's why I didn't get them, actually. It was more that it was more what was happening down this side that was concerning me more than anything else. Um, okay, this one's now come back. I'm going to need to get that one back. Um, that one can't quite get in just yet. Okay, I don't want to attack it, obviously, with these guys. This fight's quite a bit different than that first round with uh, all, like, the... I didn't pull a lot of knights in that first round that we played, where we were... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. England and France. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, um, yeah, they, they absolutely dominate, don't they? Yeah, this one's a lot different. I, I tried just bringing swarms of, of basic folks. I tried to just more more numbers than anything else. It, it, yeah, didn't, it didn't yeah. play out successfully in my part. <laughs> for for which side, English, England or France? Uh, both. <laughs> I just I just oh, okay. I was like I was like he knows what he's doing. Maybe he won't expect me to just just fill the battlefield with peasants. But it, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, I sort of had a very definite plan, but it didn't sort of really work out that way. <laughs> now you're going to keep on following these up. Um, actually, I do get a, I do get a, uh, these are lances, so I do actually get a, an attack at you there. If you, if you start, if it sticks though, it's not going to be good. Just shoot him in the back. <laughs> Try to wear them down if I can. That's pretty low. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's um, yeah that your knights are, uh, are pretty much the only. I think they're the only thing that's effective against the Mongols, but um, nothing else really sort of works, does it? Do a lot of damage with the the uh, the archers, but yeah, I'm just everything's, yeah everything's yeah. getting rocked. Yeah, they that's interesting. They're sort of stuck in there. I'll just have a bit of a look. I've forgotten sort of where we are with everything at this point in time. Uh, okay, so your knights have come through, and they've come through as well. Geez, actually, you've done a good job sort of pushing me away from here now. Um, it's big numbers. Okay. 
Those poor spearmen. They had one job, <laughs> defend that wagon. They, they didn't the wagon it. itself is super powerful, actually. Like, it's uh, one of those things. I was going to try to wear it down, but I, I don't think I can really... Um, I don't think it'll really work anymore. Mm. Um, yeah, I can hit this one pretty hard. There we go. Disrupted them. Um, now it's a matter of what we do with these. I think I'll just have to go after your forces rather than the wagon. I was my plan originally was to go after the wagon. Because if that drops, the um, everything else kind of basically runs away. Morale, right? Yeah. Yeah. But the way this plays out, though, just as long as you get the percentage, it seems like it's almost better just to run as many units down as you can rather than try to hit the big guys. Except that also the wagon, I think, gives you then morale boosts as well, like where you can actually then – like it, that's why that, that force in there came back. I don't know how far in, in there oh, it is. Okay. That's also – that's also why I chased these ones off the map because I thought I I'll get rid of them so that they can't come I mean, back. I thought what you're doing, they were routed already. And like, where's he going? He's like, yeah, no, I, I wanted to make sure. these poor horses. <laughs> <laughs> They're in trouble. Um, pushing back the wrong way. Um, I don't quite have this space that I need for this. Uh, can't move them back around. I'm ready for the next attack. Okay, and just tab. Still got this unit here. Um, these knights are going to. Decimate whatever's going to happen in there, I think. All right. That's all I can do, I think. I'll just press the B key, see if there's anything else. I think we're done. Okay, so I'll end my turn. And uh, over to you. All right. So... Switch over here. Um, it's going to be the that one, right? The top one, yeah. yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can hang in there more. The, one more turn. So you've been fit and healthy with uh, the COVID crisis over the last year? Yeah, locked away for, for 10 months. And um, my daughter just a few days ago had a fever and... and um, um, fever and like stopped up and all that and i'm like oh great we've got it oh, so i took her to the doctor yeah. and um rapid the rapid test said she didn't have it um oh wow so we waited that's good so we waited for the um they sent it back for like the, the real test that's a little more accurate and yep. um it just came back today those results so ne she's negative though um oh fantastic that's great i managed to catch her sinus infection but i'd, I'd rather have that <laughs> than what than covid so <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I've been it... sleeping a lot this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> so you really haven't been feeling all that well. Yeah, I'm getting better. It's just, it's just not really like feeling bad. It's just like kind of tired and and out of it. One of those kind of oh yeah senses. yeah. I hate that feeling. Yeah. So you really don't feel like doing anything, do you? <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can. Turn the tie with these heroic crossbowmen who managed to rally themselves. Gee, they've rallied a lot, haven't they? Yeah, I was going to—I was trying to chase them right away, but I knew I thought they might come back. <laughs> Those are the one guys who didn't run off completely. All right, let's um, get my archers in here. Um, you guys do some nasty damage. When they hit. Oh, that was big. Let's take a shot at these. How much does standing on a stream as a um, like a unit like that hurt you? It's um, 
Look, it's whoever's the weaker unit tends to benefit from it. So, um, uh, so if you've got sort of like a weaker unit, because it it what it does do is it stops like the knights, for example, don't get their extra bit, their extra. It's basically not not open terrain. It's basically all it is. I, I had to look it up actually for this particular fight because I didn't know what was going on and um, I didn't know if it was good or bad. And it's actually it's not bad for the Mongols. It's bad for the knights. I, kind of, yeah, I figured it would be bad for the, the horses. Ah, oh, damn it, you got the break. Y yes, so, well, it's actually the, even the medium horse, like the, the uh, Mongol horse can sort of stand in there and not really be impacted by it too oh, much. Oh, really? Okay. Whereas, just, just the yeah. heavy ones? Yeah, like they say, if you, um, if you, when you get a charge or something with uh, with the force before you actually do it, just you can press control over the top of the actual fight to see what's like what what the outcome is is going to be. Yeah, and um, and that will then you can sort of then see if, if it happens to be on the on the river or on the stream. It's sort of, it basically you don't get any advantage as as the knights, whereas out in the open you do. It's a bit like the rough, but the rough sort of uh, okay. you know basically dim dim diminishes everybody. Yeah. So it, the stream actually makes the um, the Mongol lances almost as good as the knights, I think. Okay. Well, you didn't catch me. That's good. Yeah, everybody runs away. Every time I get on, <laughs> you, you're taken off. Now, with the um, with with that stream ahead of me too, it's actually extra action points to cross it. So um, I did notice so that. I, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those things where I think it's six from what I'd read, it, like in the, I think that's in the tabletop uh, versions. Hmm. You ever played the tabletop version of this? No, no. It sort of was one of those things I was interested after I started playing the, um, the Field of Glory 2 because I used to play Field of Glory 1 as well on the computer, but I never, never played the tabletop. But just the rules are so, I think they're, like, they're based on it. Like I don't think they're 100%, but they're um, very, very similar. So I was sort of interested in just finding out what, what they actually have so for you to move there for example like i think each time a, a, a horseman moves it's in the open like that it's four it's four action points and um and so you and because you did the turn that's like another couple of action points or something so you don't have yeah. enough to then bring that one home gotcha and even just turning is basically they uh, choose up your action all your action points as well with, as the knights whereas the medium horse um they get like the, the turns sort of are a lot less they can sort of set up much faster. And I think the action point, I think the, the knights have 12 action points to spend, and I think the um, the Mongol forces have got, um, uh, they've got 16, I think, and then the light horse have got 20, something like that. Because <laughs> hmm. I, I just, I couldn't, I hate horse archers in this game. I really dislike them a lot. And um, so I didn't know sort of how the best way was to uh, to make use of them. We should be running away. I think also if they're disordered or um, or fragmented, they don't run as far as well. I think. Oh, nicely done! There we go. Nicely done. Man, get those guys a wow. That's good stuff. Okay, Actually, look at the score. It's, you brought it back to even. Yeah. I um. I had no hope for this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought this is going to, I'm going to really try to get ahead quickly. And, uh, uh, you know, with, with, when that, uh, when your right flank broke with all these, all these yeah, that fell, that yeah. fell quick. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd try to, try to milk this. That's it for me. Well done. <clears throat> it's kind of how my first game went where with, um, Stein, Steinvallen, where, um, I seemed like he would get ahead five points, and I'd catch back up five points. But I, ne I was never able to get ahead of him, except for a couple points. And then he was able just that last oh, okay. round. We were really close towards the end, but he got that uh, the sixty percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a really good, it's a good game actually. It's sort of it's funny because it's ne it's never really is over until it's over. Yeah. You know, we just just see all of your moves here. Oh, rally twice. It's a 
shame. I was trying to keep that one right out of the fight. <laughs> went disrupted as well. It's funny how that this, one broke. this fight is so much more spread out, I guess, being horses than that last one also. Yeah, yeah. That one evades and runs off. They get chased down. See, if I'd have brought trebuchets, I'd be in a lot of trouble. That was a good attack. Yeah. Okay, this should run. There we go. Now the knights. Oh, sorry, now the archers. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I can't attack this. Uh, I, the rules are quite convoluted, but because you're facing me, I have to either charge you there. This is what I mean. If you press control, you can then see the, oh, uh, right. see the, see the, the differences. Um, so when you've got, just when you've got it, like in this one here, you can sort of see what's going to happen. Um, like I just by pressing control, it just gives you more information. And that's one of those points of advantage. So the, um, so best equipped travel, uh, cavalry that get the troop quality, the general, uh, enemy archers, no impact uh, capability of apply. So I've got a, I've got basically the full amount, except that normally if I could attack, if I could charge, because you're on the, on the stream, I, uh, if I have, if I control right click on mine, it's got lances in open terrain only, another plus 100 points of advantage. So with your guys being on that stream, they actually defend um, 100, like that point of advantage is 100 less than what it would have been if you weren't on the stream. So you being on the stream is actually good for you. <laughs> okay. I meant to do that. <laughs> so it's, it's um, convoluted. Now, I can't do anything there. They're, they're chasing things down. They're chasing stuff down. Um, <clears throat> geez, I can't really get in to do what I need to do here. Uh, I do have the advantage, but I really wanted to get to that, that one there. Hmm. Yeah, so I've got yours will run, but it'll run into the teeth of the uh, of the knights. That's all right. I do have a flanking shot here, and cohesion will drop on contact for you. It's fragmented. Came in on the angle, and I've got another one here as well, which probably make it break. I think. Yep. Bad news. Um, yeah, because it's really lost too many. But uh, I've got to think about whether I want to go after this uh, sub-general or not. Um, it's sort of been split out too much, actually. You can attack me there or there. Um, if I go to there, I can get a shot where you can't get me. So I'll do that. Now, again, I can't attack you because that little thing there, you've locked me in. Yeah. Now, if I... Um, I'm going to turn this way and... There we go. There's one of the bases gone. Can it? I, I do get a flanking attack, but if it locks in, it's not going to be good for me. So I'll... Um, Just come in close. Yeah, we'll do this one. It's a shame. It's um, they've caught got caught up. Um. Need to get these knights out of here. We end 
up with a win there, but um, it's not great. I think I'll just put more pressure on. It's indecisive. That's okay. Nothing. No, nope, still nothing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, they disrupted. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. If, I can't bring enough of these in. Still chasing everything away. Um, you're done. So yours will get stuck on the river next turn. Yeah. Um, that one can't do anything. Bring them away from those archers. I've still got two of them here. Uh, what I'd prefer to do is I'd prefer to get this thing done, but um, yeah, I think I'll do this. No, oh, it's not going to do much damage there. In that case, I'll attack this. Here we go. <clears throat> Just opens everything up a bit. I think that's, oh no, I've still got this one as well. I really can't afford to be caught with that one. So what I'll do is I'll just come back out. Um, no, that's no good. Okay, uh, that's all I've got, I think. I think it's all of the battles. thought the guys that chased them off would be back by now. They haven't come back. All right, so I'll end my turn there. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> How many turns did your first game go? It's a lot, it's a lot quicker than I, than I figured it would be. Yeah, actually, it was pretty sixteen or something. It's because um, I've I've played other games against the AI where it goes to full twenty four and there's no result. <laughs> yeah. What about yours? I think I think it was about the same. I think we went about fifteen somewhere in there. Yeah, I guess it's just well, carnage, it's, isn't it? Really, it's the first like five turns of really nothing happening, and then everything hits. Uh, yeah, yeah. In those next few rounds. These Mongols, though, they're just crazy. Everything just ends up everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's really random, isn't it? Yeah, we're all over the place. Still chasing them away. <laughs> they rallied again. Good job, crossbow. They really is. That's the third time in a row. <laughs> yeah. They're ready to fight. It's, it's, that, um, it's that damn uh, wagon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these archers are in a bad spot. All right, let's uh, start over here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we're kind of in a bad place all over. Yeah, unless they rally, um, they're in trouble, I think. Yep. Yeah. Just turn them around at least. Okay. Yeah, 
Um, let's do this. Hit that guy. And there's that river. So if you end up on the river, um, that makes you weak. Um, it's like from my perspective, I think standing because on the river you don't get any I'm advantages because of where yeah, they're heavily armored. Yeah, but I, not that I can get to you on the river. So um, I'll, all I can do is turn around. I don't, well, I don't I think I can actually move. I guess you're right. Yeah. I don't think I, yeah, I don't think I can get down that way. Yeah, go for it. So we're swapping sides. <laughs> yeah. You have more on my side of the river, and I'll have more on yours. <laughs> Guys, very brave. They've done very well. Um, take a little shot there. I don't want to move out of the trees, I'll get run over. Oh, you can get him. Didn't realize you'd be able to do that. I didn't either. I didn't think they'd be able to make that turn. Mm. That's because it's all open. I should have done that first before they're the uh, crossbowmen. Whoa. Not much point in shooting that. Take a shot. I'll figure out what that second um, Mongol is doing near those arches. Which one? Uh, the one just right near where your mouse is. This guy on the other, so other side of the river. It's it's like I'd see it's hitting something, but it's. It, I didn't think it was actually in, in combat. Oh, this guy. Uh, no, uh, on the other side of the river. Oh yeah. Yeah, to the no that that one there is still engaging, but the other one, that one there, what's yeah. he doing? Good question. <laughs> Get that tree. Their horses. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's no point in just wasting ammo on it, there, is there? Uh yeah, I think it's it's still like are you on low ammo? Yeah, you're on low, so you might as well go for it. Like on the left hand side, you can see with yours, it's just low ammunition. Yeah. So we can just sort of disrupt you maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. With everybody, that was kind of a, was a quick turn. But these guys who are, aren't are going to do anything. You Eventually, you have to do that attack, or it'll do it for you. So. Yeah, I know. This will take the... Uh... <clears throat> I'm not sure that matters. There we go. Ooh. All right. That's it for me. Okay. Oh, there it is. There it goes. There we go. You done one of these Slytherin tournaments before? Oh, years and years ago, and I hated it. <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but I did actually. I didn't understand it at all. And um, and I think I, the the times ran out. It was um, so this time I thought I'll try to get my head around because I don't normally like multiplayer games. And um, but anyway, it's, I sort of thought I'd actually try it. And um, yeah, I've actually enjoyed this because I've, I've made a bit of an effort to try to figure out how how everything sort of works. <laughs> what are the games you play? Also really, sorry. What game did you play with uh, Slytherin? Oh, Field of Glory Two. It was, oh, um, was one okay. of the. 
Oh, the other yeah, it was, and um, but I didn't, I didn't know the rules for that at that stage. Sorry, I should have kept on going. Okay, we'll that one. see how this one goes because I know we had we had four games, I guess, in the first round. Two people didn't uh, complete their games. Yeah, timed yeah. Out. I think they played enough though. In the end, mm. I think yeah, I think we've played enough in these to at least get scores. Otherwise. I thought from what was said that you basically end up getting it going out of the tournament, like if you don't play enough rounds, but I don't know if that's right or not. Oh, there we go. Was that, that was down there, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that one there. Oh, they've rallied and they've rallied. They've held firm, but they've fallen back. Hmm. In that case, okay, so we'll just keep on charging this. I've still got two turns of ammunition, but um, actually what I could do would be to uh, soften you up. So I've still got all five turns of ammunition with this one. There we go. Breaking. That one's out of there. And um, turn this one around. Get them ready. Get them reset. Just undo that. I still can't turn, unfortunately. I'm, I'm not getting the. I'm not blocking. I'm not locking you in. That's what I really wanted to do. Mm. And I can't attack this one because that one's locked me in. But I can do this one. It's going to disrupt it straight away. And did hold on. It won't drop in on contact because I can't do anything else with that. Um, God, I've got to be kept. I have to break this one now. It's fragmented it. I absolutely must break this. This turn. No, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get flanking shots against me now. <laughs> it's that wagon. Oh. That wagon's holding yeah. strong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's yeah, I guess it's I guess that is because that um it's pretty amazing. Like it's what's it got? Two thirty yeah, so it goes five hundred. It's under it's uh, these are highly superior, so I think that they can take down to like forty percent or something before they break automatically. Mm. But yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're putting the pressure on. Okay, they're done. Uh, back over here. Now they're in the in the forest there, which I don't really want to be worried too much about. Oh, that was good. Now yeah, this one here, um, yeah, they're sort of engaged with something. They're pursuing they're something, but they're not. There's nothing to pursue. It's that tree there. See that dead tree they're at? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> three. There it is. <laughs> it's the old Hungarian right. tree defense. <laughs> Works every time. <laughs> I actually get a bit of a win here. They may chase him off. Um... I don't know what they're pursuing. It's like they're pursuing this one. Yeah, it's weird. That one can't do anything. It's um, oh, that was nice. We're low ammunition as well now, so I think I'll just attack it. So they're engaged.
But I think they're going to come back. <clears throat> Actually, I know I can't reach, can't get to them. It's my last turn of ammunition for this one. Okay, we got rid of one of the bases of that one. Um, Okay, that's about all I can do at this stage. Um, oh God, this is going to get nasty in here. This isn't going to this isn't going to end well at all for me. I'm going to lose a lot of men here. Uh, I think I'm done. All right. Um, we'll go back, go back in. Huh? Where is it? Uh, just refresh, see if it comes back up. Did I send it off? Hang on, just bear with me. I'll just check and see. Oh, I failed to send a server. Hang on. Damn, this happens occasionally. Um, cannot send your turn. You need to cancel to exit the mission and discard the turn. Um, uh, record that this turn has been retired. Okay, so I'm going to have to play this one again. Okay. Um, should we want to abandon this turn? I'm going to have to. So unfortunately, we had this a few times with what we were doing. Sorry. So we're back. We're back with mine again. <laughs> I've got to replay that turn. I'll just try to do everything that I did last time. <clears throat> That's a perfect opportunity for me to save those uh, Mongols, <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> yeah, I think this was all planned, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I pulled the cord out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had it, we had, it, had it happen a few times. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have it yeah, at all, all um, with uh, the other one of mine. Oh, didn't you? Mm-mm. So we're still just getting all your replays. So unfortunately, the whole turn has to be replayed out again. So that's that breaks. Ah, okay. They were they were engaging oh, okay, the, yeah. the previous turn. Yeah. That one rallied, I think. Hope I get it that one back. We found the results were almost identical each time we played it, so Oh there we go, here they both rallied. Yeah, yep, so it's it is holding up to what actually happened. Yep. Alright, so I attack that with this. That broke. Turn that one around. I shot at this one. And then I moved this one up. And that held firm both times. Brought that one over to there. Couldn't stop it from lining everything up. Um, I turned that one around to fire at this one. Attacked into here. Then I attacked with this one, which I wouldn't do now if it was. <laughs> <laughs> See. Yeah, it's that fragmented. And then I was relying on this one to, to win it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So it did actually stay where it was. That's, oh. that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> Um, that one can't move. This one I moved to here. That was even. I think even that was about the same numbers too. I wonder how. It, yeah, I wonder ah. how it does the dice rolls. It's strange that it was so exact. 
Yeah, it must have like a um, the random number uh, must be sort of recorded for for what you're doing. I, I don't know actually. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So I attacked with this one, didn't I? And then uh, they yeah. stayed together. Oh, God, I've forgotten what I did over here. I moved this one over this side. Um, I think I moved this one down to attack that one. I, moved, I think I moved that one to there. Yeah, I think so. And then one of the bases dropped. Oh, it didn't happen that time. Or did I do it with this one? No, okay, that didn't, unless I did it this way. Oh, yeah, there goes the base. Um, tab, Just press B. I think we're done. Okay, let's hopefully this one works this time. <clears throat> Just wait for it. Fingers crossed. There we go. Great. Okay, so back over to you. There it is. That was pretty much the same result, I think. Yeah, it's funny how it worked that way. Good I think me. I might have shot one of the archers in a different order, but anyway. <laughs> Close enough. What game have you been enjoying the most over the last year or so? Man, it hasn't been much of anything coming out last last couple months. There hasn't been much coming out. Um, well, I disagree. Shadow Empire, I don't know if you've played that. It's yeah. incredibly good. Yeah, it's, it's, I, um, I do a thing every year. I put my best games of the year. I had that one. I think I put number two. Two or three. Oh, okay. Empire. I like that one a what, lot. What, what did you have number one? Bannerlord. Mountain Blade. Oh, okay. I like that one. That one was... That was my favorite. Um, and then, what else did I have on? What else was good? There was a lot of good stuff last year. I had troubles narrowing down my list. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't end up putting out a list. In, in the end, I didn't play enough different sort of games, actually. So, mm. And uh, Shadow Empire, for me, was pretty much the uh, top of the tree. Yeah, I know. I saw you playing oh, a lot of it. <clears throat> Is that going to break? Stop to stop fighting with the tree. <laughs> the tree's not even there anymore. I guess they took it down. Yeah, <laughs> must have chopped Wait. it. <laughs> I guess they did take it down because there it is. It's on there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do this first. So I think we're going to come in on the side first. Um. It'll, it'll run. Uh, can it run? I don't know if it can, actually. Yeah, I think it will, if but it I think you'll need another, can it run? need another flanking shot. Oh, yeah. I think we can come in like this. And it blocks them off. Actually, now you'll get it. And does it. Does it fragment? No, not. Oh... Nasty. These guys are done for. They did a good fight. These guys are stuck, aren't they? Let's go. Yeah, I should get should get these to run a bit now, so. Is my phone ringing? Hmm. Let's see if I can avoid that guy from hitting me in the back. Then I'll have a lot left. I think 
I want to hit. To that guy. There we go. Archers. Yeah, Megan's done well. Yeah. At least the crossbowman thinks so. <laughs> yeah, actually, that, that crossbowman that rallied was good. So if I do this fight, it's going to fight anyway. Um, does it matter if I pick one now? It's going to fight all three of them, right? Do I just... You might as well try to go for the one that's fragmented, actually, because you've got a better chance of uh, doing damage against that one. Yeah. Or probably they so won't kind of do damage against each other, really. It kind of forces the... Uh, I force the order, I guess. Yeah. And then uh, the other two, I think it'll break no matter what, which, whichever one you go with now. So yeah. the other two, I don't think it'll matter which one. Well, you probably do better against the Tatar cavalry rather than the uh, Mongol lances. That's about all I got, I think. All right. All yours. Okay. It will play out that other turn. So, um, all right. I'll uh, get across to there yeah, and um, get the recording done. So, I'll refresh. There we go. Hopefully, we won't end up with any more of these technical problems. So it's um, so the the first victory target is to get to forty percent. Now the back end of this one, there will still be the other attacks. I think that one of yours will still retreat at, at this point. Uh, that knight that's sort of caught between those other guys. Yeah. But whether that's enough to get over the forty percent, I don't think it will be. You're still going to be ahead. actually. That has to be. You're going to be ahead by twenty five. Also. Twenty five. Yeah. So that's it's, and that's not going to happen. Yeah. But this one may run as well. Yeah, it was a good move. So I hope that they come back. There it goes. Yep. All right. So, um, can't do anything. It's disrupted it. Oh, man. <clears throat> uh, now I can get a flanking shot. This, if it was, if, if this one was over this side of that line, uh, I wouldn't get the flanking shot, but I do get the flanking shot in here. So I'm going to take that. Oh, we fragmented it as well. That's good. It makes uh, life a bit easier for that one. This one's in trouble. In a lot of trouble. Oh, I got the flanking shot here as well. Come on, drop another one. Yes, we got it down to fragmented. That's going to mean that this one, I don't think it'll make it break. It'll be too, um, the quality will be too good. But what I can do, oh, that one's actually caught up trying to, um, trying to chase things down. <laughs> this one, they're not going to do any damage to each other. Oh, they did a bit. We can't do anything. I can't stop this one from then getting this one to run next turn. Yeah, it's still going to be messy in there. It's still chasing stuff down. This one should break. Nope, not yet. That one's still chasing stuff as well. This one, 
that will break it. No, it just disrupted. So we still got another few turns. I was hoping a few of those would break. <laughs> I brought a bunch of archers in on this fight, hoping they would hit the horses before they got to me, but he's got they just got mowed down. Yeah, yeah. Did some damage. This they did they did do the job. But, the archers. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're hitting you hard, but you hit them a lot harder. Yeah. Well, it's just that one that rode through the middle of them, you know, and basically just they all collapsed. Yeah. Collapsed in a heap. Um. Yeah. Okay. This isn't going as well as I was hoping. Hoping to get a few of yours to run this turn, but um, and I don't have the these guys have been chasing these forever. Yeah. Um, okay, that's all I can do. Just make sure it uh, goes to the server this time. Please go. Yep, looks like it went. Okay. <clears throat> see if we can hang in there for another turn <laughs> kind of a, we finally got us all together now instead of running all over the map we got a, a small group of massive yeah there. it's a really clustered actually it's um i think that's the one thing that the mongols don't want is to be caught up like that yeah they did great your guys to hold on like that what they did Oh, General Fell. Is that yours? That was your oh, General I think that was Fell. mine, yeah, in the middle there. I didn't notice that before. Spearmen are strong, aren't they, against the uh, Mongols? Actually, they've, they've been, they're pretty good. Yeah, I had, I think, about three or four groups of them, as many as I could get. I figured they would do well against horses. Um, problem is, as soon as I attack you, you run off. So I can't get, yeah. I can't run. And it's, if it was a tight battlefield, like where we're all kind of in the middle, it'd be good. But the way they are now, they can't move anywhere, and the horses are no. all over the place. That's why I don't like the Mongol forces, to be honest. So, like, or any of the horse archer tribes that just... Um, I don't know. Just it ends up just being absolute. Um, <laughs> you can't control anything. <laughs> yeah, like that. Um, these guys do the thing. We'll deal with all that up there later. Um. Yeah, you got to be careful. If one more of yours runs, I think it's game over. Oh, yeah, you're But right. you're going to have to fight those battles, so... Um... I think we'll, uh, we'll see if we can hit something first, then. Yeah, you've got that one you can hit in the flank. I think that's a free shot for you. Oh, I can't the, um, the, one, the one above it. They've got a knight in the middle there. This guy? Uh, no, the one to the oh. left of that. That one there, I think if you do, I think you can charge that one. Oh, you can't. Oh. Okay. oh, you've been cut down by my fragmented force. That I didn't think fragmented forces could do that. That's interesting. Disrupted. Oh, uh, no, the one that, mine, mine is fragmented. Oh. But it's still actually blocking you off. Well, um, go for it. See if we can we'll just turn these guys. And then these guys are stuck. Yeah, we'll just uh we'll 
take this one. Not much else I can do. It's about all I got. Yeah, you got those other fights. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's nothing. You, all you can do is turn, isn't it, really? Yeah, try to not get hit inside. I'll let him do his thing. These guys will bring around. Because um, I can't hit you. That's all I got. There they go. Yep, that's and taking it over the 40. Might in the, the 25. Fuck, we'll find There's out. Still one more battle there. Alright. Make sure it goes. Okay. <clears throat> Fresh. There we go. So I think this will just give me a replay, and then that should be. Um, I think that will then. Um, be the end of this game, I think. Yeah, I don't I think uh, like it doesn't. Could it just do replay and then just re reward the victory? What was it? Sorry. Can it just? It'll just re award the victory after a replay. Is that how it works? Is yeah. Uh, if it's uh, if it ends up in that that position, it'll f there was still one more fight to fight. Yeah. I think as long as like it still gives a, a chance for stuff to sort of happen during the, the mid phase, but there's nothing really contentious. So it won't really change it. These have done better, those little Tartar cavalry. I wasn't expecting anything from them. Mm. But they've actually been quite effective. Oh, they're rallying up. Yep, that's broken it. There we go. There it is. <clears throat> All righty. So, um, glorious victory. There we go. So, <laughs> close that one off. So, um, no, that was that was actually interesting. It's sitting the ebbed and, ebbed and flowed in the middle of it, didn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was kind of ugly the whole time. I think, uh, from my point of view, <laughs> <laughs> it was hard. I think once you lost a, that a spark of something, but uh, yeah, one, at the very beginning, once you charge yeah. into the archers out, I think it was that whole flank was gone. I think playing as the um, as the Hungarians against, you like you've got to be really built in depth, don't you, to be able to um, contend with it, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. <laughs> I don't think we need to uh, record that because I didn't do anything. So. Oh, come on. I'll just have to make sure you want to abandon the turn. Um, Guess I didn't lose. <laughs> we'll just have to let it go there. <laughs> just refresh. It'll come back up oh, again. No, it's a, it's a uh, completed uh, tab. Oh, no, it completed it. So, yeah, it did it. There it is there. Yeah. So that one, it, it did go completed. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, all right. Well, let's uh, end this episode or this session here with this, uh, with this game, and then we'll... Uh, get into the next game so um anyway thanks for that uh that no cream but yeah you're right it's, i think it was was those, that that lucky move uh coming in on the flank that basically sort of wiped yeah. out that right flank of yours which made it very very difficult that was rough all right yeah. well, fun okay we'll catch you in game four is what i've called the next one so um i'll uh, catch you in the next one all right